<sighs> Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to B and KBs. Um, after a couple of awesome videos and a couple of really, really uplifting days in the bee yards, uh, we came back to the house, the main yard, yesterday. And when we pulled in, Katie said, "Look, something got into those hives down there." And so. Of course, we ran down here and realized that a few hives were tipped over and messed up. Uh, at first, I didn't think it was a bear because we've had bear issues in the past and usually they are much more widespread. The, the bear will destroy absolutely everything in the hive and throw frames all over the place and it wasn't like that. So I was curious and kind of hoping it was a raccoon or a skunk or something. But then as I think about it more and more, I realized no, that they wouldn't have the ability to do what this bear did. And so, uh, we cleaned up the yard yesterday, and then we're settling down. I'm anxious about what's going on in the bee yard, and uh, Katie's aunt calls, who's our neighbor, and says there's a bear down the road. <sighs> I love animals. Um, I hate when animals mess with my animals, and so uh, I obviously was on high alert, and we're watching, and we're watching, and we're watching, and then we look across the street last night, and there is a massive black bear uh, just kind of strolling down toward our property. I chased him away. I ran out of the house. I screamed at him. I swore at him. And he ran away. And I came out over the course of every, you know, couple of hours over the course of the last night. And, uh, and kind of clapped my hands and made a bunch of noise and tried to dissuade him from returning. And I think that that worked. Well, it definitely worked. He didn't return last night. Um, but now, because I don't have the finances for a solar fence, and this yard is so big, it would be a crazy, crazy solar fence installation. Um, we're doing what we've always done when bears hit a yard, and that is we're moving the hives out. So, it's a sad state, <laughs> because this is our main yard. This was our first bee yard. This is the main row that started us off in beekeeping right here. And so this is the first time it's ever looked like this, or at least in the last bunch of years it's the first time it's looked like that. And so we've got bees in the back of the truck, and we are getting ready to bring them down the road to another yard. So I will probably get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of us installing some bees down the road, um, but then we'll be back for more. And uh, I don't know how many will move today, but the goal is to get the, at least the vast majority of everything moved out of here so that a bear can't... Uh, damage us that bad. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are to our uh, yard on a hill, and as you can see, combinations at the end of last year uh, made a lot of empty slots out here. So, empty slots are getting filled with the colonies we brought from the main yard. All right, so we are done for the day as the bees are starting to fly around and I'm not trying to lose uh, flight-aged bees at this time. That would be probably pretty, uh, pretty bad for the colonies right now as it's March 24th and like 41 degrees and it'll get down at least near freezing tonight. So I'm trying to disturb these colonies as little as possible. Obviously, ideally, I wouldn't have had to move these colonies at all but ideally it wouldn't have been uh, in March. <sighs> but we got like two thirds of that yard moved. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to keep making noise and stuff over the next couple of days to try to dissuade that bear from continuing to cause me issues, but we'll get more hives moved out of that yard here uh, before too long. And of course I've got another yard that I've gotta move as well because if you guys remember at the end of last year we had some issues with the landowner worried about their pet and the water dish and all that and so that issue kept continuing and continuing to the point where uh, I now have about like three weeks to get all those hives out of that yard so ah, not necessarily the greatest uh, you know way to start the bee year but I'm happy to be doing bee stuff I'm happy to be messing around with this many live and and you know good looking clusters of bees so uh, it could be worse, and uh, we should always, always remember that it could be worse, whether we're talking about coronavirus or we're talking about our bees. Try to, you know, latch on to the optimistic side, and, uh, you know, for me right now, the optimistic side is, look at all these bees, so I'm happy. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Get out there and have some fun with your bees. See ya.